So I put up a post on my community tab asking if people are still struggling with modding and if you would like a raw, pretty much uncut, just how do I mod Cyberpunk 2077? And as I said here, it will not take long and it is pretty easy. So first thing you want to do is, well, actually the, you, for you, the links will be in the description. The first link you'll want is this Vortex link. And you click on download the latest version now. Boom, just like this. It will take you here. And then, yeah, just just uh, download it, manual download. These, you don't, I don't think you have to worry about these. This one here, you can click and open Windows 10 or above. Just You just have to have Windows 10 or above. I'm going to click download because I'm sh I've already got that runtime thing. Now, I don't know. Download it yourself and test out. But I think it just comes with computers. That's That seems to be my understanding. But anyway, slow download. If you're not a premium member of Vortex, doesn't matter. Sometimes I'm a premium member. Sometimes I'm not. I don't need it all year round, do I? No. But yeah, this will take a little bit depending on your internet. It's only 150 megabytes. My internet's just very slow. With Cyberpunk, by the way, you will get away with using Vortex for pretty much every mod in the for the game. It's not Bethesda. It's not a Bethesda game. It doesn't freaking it doesn't punish you for every single mod install. You don't have to worry about load order. None of that. <laughs> now, once that is done, you'll want to head over to your downloads and just install it, obviously. Bang, just like this. You're about to click next. Put it where you want. I'm fine with having it in my C drive. You should be too. It's not very big. Install. And we wait just a little bit. And then boom, click finish. And it will run it. And then after this, you'll be greeted with, well, hopefully the same screen as me. And then you'll want to go to games. And here in my managed games, it has saved... Uh, these which are and then right here where it says on manage just scroll down till you find cyberpunk 2077 click on manage and boom that is it now i actually thought there was another little step i think it pops up with saying where do you want your mod folder to be the reason i uninstalled vortex was actually so i could show you that one step i do believe it just asks you where you want your mod uh, your mod folder to be. But anyways, I believe it's just like one click of a button. You just say you put your mod folder over here. Don't put it in your game folder. I'm th I think that's the rules it has. Other than that, it should be pretty simple. Now, we both have this screen. Click on this because you want to get mods, obviously. Because the things we need are the game, Vortex, and the mods you want. And that's all. That's all you need. We're going to start with Cyber Engine Tweaks. This mod is needed for everything in the game cyber engine tweaks basically these mods here are all the ones that are needed i'll show you which ones are not necessary and this one here needs to be installed manually which i'm going to show you in a second it doesn't have to be manually you can just drag it into vortex we're gonna do that one um now as for the mods that are just necessary you need them for everything i'm gonna open them and install them right here right now so this one here archive xl boom this one here, boom. This one here, boom. You get the point. I'm just going to hover over them all and install them. This one's not needed or anything, but we're just going to do it. Needed, needed, not needed. Nice to have if you're into clothing mods. The virtual ateliers makes it easier for you to buy them. This is the exact same deal just for car mods. And this one is, another, is a script mod which helps run every mod in the game basically but yes i'm gonna close that for now now archive xl we're gonna wait on that though the first one you want to install is cyber engine tweaks click on vortex that literally you just bring your mouse go over here and you can click on vortex we've done the rest and yeah slow download again if you're not a premium member now you just wait it is downloading you'll be able to sit here and here but that is done now a little rule of thumb that i tend to do myself is when you are installing mods for Cyberpunk, only download like two, like one to two mods at a time and then launch your game from here to make sure that it does still work. Mine should still work. If it doesn't, then we've, we've fucked it up. <laughs> but as you can see, the game works. Now with Cyber Engine Tweaks, when you do first launch it, it will give you this. You want to bind your key. I click here and then I'm going to bind it myself to the title key. That's where I, you know, where I put it. I actually got some comments saying that they never got this menu. That really just means either what, like, really just means you um didn't install the mod. But yeah, since my game does work, I'm going to hold F for it. Boom. And we're fine. We're fine. You're fine to do that. You're fine to do that. I've never had issues doing it. Now that's installed, we're going to go over to the next mods, which is just, uh, 
Yeah, this one here. You can do the same deal with each of these. But the one here that you might actually have trouble with is this one because it doesn't have a way to install with Vortex. Well, you'd think that, but we're going to click on manual and we're going to download it manually and, and do that. And then once it has downloaded manually, you can just click on it and drag it into here, which is this bottom part here that says drag files. And it is installed and the game will work. Again, I don't need to launch it. I think I'm pretty much a professional at this point. <laughs> but yeah, that, so we've got these two mods installed and running. This is a mod that, like, if you want to download a clothing mod that has a different texture, or a car mod that has a different texture, or just texture mods, you will need this mod. So yeah, it is pretty uh, necessary to have. And yeah, we're just going to install these mods. Don't let all these tabs fool you into thinking it's overwhelming or anything. I have all these open because these are mods that I'm showing you to download. If I want to download this car mod here, for example... The requirements for it are literally the mods we're going to download, as you can see here. This one's optional, like I said before, so that's fine. All right, now since I want to try and download this mod, and it is manual only, I'm going to show you how to manually install. But first, we want to get these requirements. We're going to get these requirements. This one, we already have this one, because we downloaded it earlier. This, this, this. I will get the virtual car dealer. Makes things a lot easier. Now, this one, easy, simple. Okay, we'll get this one first then. Fine, we'll do it there. there. Easy, simple, click on Vortex. The Vortex install is pretty much the safest way to do it because if you start doing manual installs for every mod, you won't know when to update them. Cars should be fine. I've never had any car mod issues manually installing because the mods that need updating normally are just these ones, the script mods and, and whatnot. So now that we've got red for text, we can now download this one, slow download. It's doing the stuff. You can see here, doing the stuff, doing the stuff. And then we'll close that. We already got that one. We'll close that. And then we'll get this one as well. So yeah, just download all these core mods first. And then you're chilling, basically. Tweak XL. Bang. Bang. Yep, yep. And then the virtual car dealer. Not a requirement mod at all. Oh, did we get this one? Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, don't worry. Like, this is mo mostly all of the required mods anyway. So once you have them... It's not a pain in the butt. Like, it really, really is not a pain in the butt. Did I get Archive XL and Codeware? I don't know. Did I get Codeware? Let's find out. No, we didn't get that yet. So, all right. So, Vortex install. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. And then back here. Wait, what did I say? Oh, it says I already got it. All right. And then just cancel. It doesn't matter. And then bang. Okay. That's installed. That's installed. This one here. Not that it matters to you. This one here is just a way to get your game back to, you know, how it was. I had to do that to set up for the video, obviously. Now we have all these. Oh, wait. Also, if you want to know how to do this, just open it in a new tab. I'm just clicking in the scroll wheel, by the way. Makes things so much easier. But yeah, anyways, I can now download this. Boom, boom. Easy. Now that we have the virtual car dealer, we'll go and download the car. But virtual car dealer is optional. Anyways, we're going to download the car. Boom. And boom. And boom, I meant. Okay, so the car is downloading. To install it is a manual installation only. It says here what to do. Unzip both files into the root directory of the game. And if you don't know where to find the that, so yeah, this right here, don't know if you can see, but this right here is how is where you'll want to go to find your game file if you have it on Epic, GOG, or Steam. Now, Steam's actually the easiest. I don't have it on Steam personally, but what you want to do is right-click on your game in Steam, hover over Manage, and just click on Browse Local Files. And that will take you to the game files. And then from there, you'll just you'll do the thing. But I'm going to show you where my game is because I can't install it to Fallout 4 now, can I? So, my game's in here. Game, Cyberpunk 2077. I put it there myself. Yours will be... As I showed you before, yours will be one of these. I don't know which, which one you've got it on, obviously. That's where yours will be. We've got that sorted. What we're going to do, by now I hope you have found your game folder. I've found mine right here. This is what it will look like. Something like this. It will look similar. It doesn't have to look exactly the same. But then you will go to your downloads where you downloaded the car mod, which is right here. Hold right click in. I should have mentioned you don't actually need WinRAR for this. You can just use the default. Windows zipper, whatever it's called. You have it. You have already have it. But yeah, I hold right click, let go, and then extract here. You just want to basically extract it into your game folder. It is pretty simple, pretty easy. It's doable. And now the mod's installed. That's all it is. 
So yeah, we've installed the car mod. We've got it. All that's done. We're, we're literally ready to play the game by now. It, done already. And I just got a car mod. Okay, so I'm going to launch the game now. Mods are downloaded, installed, and I'll get the car just to show you that it works, you know? I honestly, I'm, I feel... This won't happen to you. My thing had trouble because it's stupid. It thinks, so basically, well, actually, I'll show you how to fix an error. <laughs> it says right here that it depends on codeware, which I don't have installed. Um, <clears throat> I literally, I literally went to download codeware and it's like, you already have it installed. Don't worry about it opening the game. That will happen. It thinks it's funny. So we're going to go back to Vortex and just type in codeware and install it. Install with Vortex, bang, bang. It's just silly that that happened. <laughs> See, it says right here, you already downloaded it. Oh, it doesn't exist. It's lying to me. So we're going to download this. It's done. It was that easy. And now the game should work. Should be no problems. Boom. And now the game launches with no errors. We'll jump in. We'll go get the car. I'll show you the virtual deal. Uh, I'll show you the virtual car dealer. So that you know that modding works. <laughs> All right, here we are in V's apartment, just chilling. I'm going to go over to the computer because that's where the virtual car dealer mod will be. And here's my car. Boom, right there. I don't have any money. <laughs> so I can't show you the car, but it does work. It actually does work. And yeah, if you see, if you see the car mod here, you've got it in the game. That's that. Literally, it's, it is that easy. It really is. And Vortex is a safe way to actually um, install mods for Cyberpunk 2077. Cyberpunk's a pretty forgiving game. Like, I just loaded that game and I don't even have any of my mods installed actually and yet yeah, didn't didn't punish me at all if you did this on fallout 4 my goodness you would have got a smack bottom <laughs> um i truly 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 hope this video helped you i actually tried my freaking hardest to get this um done i know it seems very simple for me to sit down here and record this type of video hell no nah, man it was harder than recording a let's play let's be being honest thank you very much for watching i'm just thinking i'm just making sure that i got everything covered i showed you how to mod i showed you how to install vortex vortex boom yeah we did that code wet yeah i showed you that yeah we did that too when you are installing mods always do read like this section of it because it it does tell you exactly how to install and now that i've showed you the basics you should be like able to do this pretty good yeah? yeah 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 but i'm pretty sure i got everything done thank you so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed leave a comment down below if you have anything to say sub subscribe for more subscribe for more and with that said i'll see you in my next video also before i go i do have a bunch of cyberpunk mod videos on the channel so now that you know how to mod you can go and watch my mod videos and get those mods if you want Thanks for watching. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Have a great one. Bye-bye.